The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the barons thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the Baron is. He found his wife, took her away, somewhere far. Anna, she was unwell. A true shame. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlareth attends too, as the crone's guest. Seem to know it well. Havelock's a good tutor. We stand to find Imlareth here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the crones do this. Apparently, Imlareth came here at Eridin's behest, to order the crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlareth might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and we'll be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlareth there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I've no idea why. Loads of footprints. A crowd of peasants came through here. Avalok claims vanity is Imlar's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Karanthir, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalok's student. Should I shoot? The white one wants to serve the ladies. But he's an outsider. Let them approach. But they've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fire us down that away with food and drink plenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. We thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. Mentioned a gate, said we wouldn't pass. Only the chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess, the young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Velen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. Ladies of the wood visit you? If they favor us. My father told me they descended once, passed from fire to fire, listening to hopes and grievances. So each year, we wait for them to walk amongst us once more. Haven't done it in a long time, then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. This celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? No need for anger. The White Ones serve the ladies as we do now. 
We send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling, scared to death, and about eight years old. Stay calm. Your children, why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. Said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor neath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Then we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns, at times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen elders gather, hold council. Some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. Tis never enough. Heard enough about this. We've got other questions. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're afire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. human veil. He can never know. We, each one, use that veil as we That's it. How we will. To ensure things that it's one true use has been revealed to none. From thence, the many errors. From thence, the casting off of the veil in the dark. Arm not yourself, nor your neighbor. For if only their gifts are plentiful. For you. Shall not, not come this year. Bold words. You are to it instead. Hmm. For a hard winter. Oak will give plenty, don't ye fret? Hey, <laughs> before the year passed, plenty of landowners came down the mountain just before daybreak. How did they look? At once beauty and horror. Like an army in full regalia. <laughs> if only their gifts are plentiful. Wolf. <laughs> Good ladies. Welcome. Merciful ladies. My grandson, My give him elf. He works his share of mischief, but he's a good lad. Give him elf. I beg you. Look over there. Children. Both godlings. Run into them before. They say ghosts are a manifestation of inner fears. Hauntings are said to be longing and loneliness, grown to vast proportions. There's no truth to that. It is true, however, that monsters can be as lonely as humans, and that to conquer one's loneliness, one must first conquer one's fears. Some manage to do just that. He the one who kicked you out of your house? Yes. Well, I must have a word with him. But don't hurt him. Who do you think you are? Kicking Sarah out of her home? How could you? Wasn't her home. And besides... Please. It worked out in the end. If I'd not left Novigrad, I'd never have met Johnny. Oh, fine. I'll let you off this time. See you found your lass. So what brings you here? What are you doing here? And how'd you two end up together? Got an invitation we couldn't refuse. Around the Sabbath, the ladies get nicer of a sudden. Or maybe they're just out to show me who's in charge. Did I hear right? You walked here all the way from Novigrad? Well, no trouble for someone who talks to birds. 
A blackbird told me about Johnny, so I potted over. We're heading up the mountain. Any advice? Yeah. Don't do it. Johnny says the crones aren't to be fooled with. You've barely found your lass. Didn't find her just to lose her now, did you? We'll be fine. Do as you will. Path up the mountain starts the other side of the gate, so you'll need the key. Old Thecla only gives it to those she deems worthy of the lady's presence. We're looking for an elf named Imlarith. Ciri thinks the crones might have invited him. The big knight? He near trampled me. On his way up the mountain? Yeah. What's it you want from him? He killed my friend. Out for vengeance, eh? Oh, let it go. Dying foolishly won't help. Even the crones bow and scrape before that one. Gates locked. Why? Good grief. Worse than children, these two. During each Sabbath, the crones demand to meet three beautiful youngsters. Old Thecla picks them and gives them the key to the gate. She's young and beautiful. But he's sure not. Let us worry about Thecla. Don't lie to her. She'll sniff it out at once. If she refuses to help, you must tell her you wish to undergo the trial. The trial? Thecla will explain. Thanks for the advice. We should go. Good luck. Visit us sometime. We've a place not far from here. We'll be certain to stop by. So long. Sails are white as clouds, and the sea's sapphire blue and emerald green. The sea? A great big salty lake. Ah. Oh. Huh. Not this year, child. I so wished to see the ladies. The gate would be closed. I told you clear. Thecla, we ought to go back to our beggar. Could be for naught. Going to see the ladies? We'll go with you. We'll do no such thing, child. The guard will not let us pass. Tell the ladies to descend, walk among us. Well. Some if only they come down to her mother. Others call her sister. They took cold iron wheels, pierced her heart, pierced her head, then sunk her lifeless corpse into the festering mire. 
On the night we rode to the summit, who were he? Who could know? Perhaps the ladies charmed him the so that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. Aye. What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. Never had a man. <sighs> Never mind. Got me answer. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. If she goes up the mountain, I go with her. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar and eyes like a viper. Aye. Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. What's this about? What have you chosen her for? Tell him. Each year, three chosen have the honor to meet the ladies. What happens after they've had this honor? When they return, they speak of the past no more. Joy rules them and they start life anew. The lads were not the first to be chosen this day, but the moon hangs eyes, so she's like to be the last. I'm going with her. <laughs> He's fire in his gut. What do you see? He's determined. He loves the girl, but he seeks to hide it from us. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right you may appeal my choice, but to do so you must best the challenge. What kind of challenge? Tell him. You must descend into the cave and bathe in the waters below the earth. What's the catch? The water's deep. The water's murky. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defiers Aura. Now, bring me the coin. Something's afoot. Something's nigh.
To worry. Come, let's get the key. Something's afoot. Something's nigh. They're back. What do you want? Can't help but be curious. What's at the summit? Tell him. The ladies dwell there, but only the chosen may look upon them. I know that. I want. You'll learn nothing else here. Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, gonna keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for ye. Now go! That went smoothly. Weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. Stop whining. You're a witcher. You've dived in murkier waters. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted a Zubo. The Chosen will now ascend the mount to the peak to meet the night. And the festivities begin. And let them last. Not seen you here before. What's your name, girl? What's yours? Mm, your name don't matter. Atop the peak, you'll lose it and get another. You may go. And you? Got something to do up there, so just let us through. Ha ha ha! Given me orders? You? A human? I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers Orum. A death sentence. Careful. 
Son of a bitch. We've no time to lose. I'll tend to Imlirith, you take the crones. Avalark said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. Three. Imlirith's a bigger threat than the crones. I should face him. I'm no worse a fighter than you. We both know that's not true. Listen to me this once. But... No buts. Fine. Be careful. You too. I must get down there. I feel two hundred years younger. of love and knew no bitterness. Return. Your taste lingers on our tongues. You've talked enough. You will die here now! Uh, 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 
Summit. Gotta be.
medallions humming. Place of power, it's gotta be. Sisters said you would come. They saw you arrive in the water's surface. They did not see the girl. But she is with you, is she not? I'm here alone. A lie which will change nothing. First you, then her. You to fight like this. The Witcher you slew. We did it. Barely. How'd it go down there? I slew only two of the crones. The third fled, with Vesemir's medallion. My sole memento. Come.
coming here? Good idea. I knew we'd succeed. From the start. Now to find Eridin and kill him. An Orin for your thoughts? Wondering what to tell Yennefer when we get to Novigrad. Tell her the truth. Always. I wonder if Triss and Yennefer have found the sorceresses at the Lodge. We ought to rejoin them. Give me a minute. I'm old. Need more rest. Hmm. You are, and you do. Let's stay a bit longer. So, off to Novigrad then? Yeah, let's get going. Let's go. The Oak is dead. The Oak, the Crones. I fear that was your last feast. What of our acorns? There won't be any more acorns. Need to get by without them. What now? This is no longer no man's land. It's no longer the lady's land. It's all yours. But what are we to do? Come, Geralt. It's time. Manage. On your own. Then non-humans. Thought it was mages the hunters and the temple guard were after. Mages left. Hunters needed a new quarry. Hatred and prejudice will never be eradicated. And witch hunts will never be about witches. To have a scapegoat, that's the key. Humans always fear the alien. The odd. Once the mages had left Novigrad, folk turned their anger against the other races, and as they have for ages, branded their neighbors their greatest foes. Dundee Lion! Ready some tankards! With guests! Geralt! Siri! When I learned Geralt had found you. Glad to see you in one piece too, Dandelion. Where have you two been? Just finished hunting down the crones of Velen and a general of the Wild Hunt. Well, you were a busy mom then, haven't you? In fact, you look terrible. Like you could really use some rest. Gladly take some. Point me to a room. Of course. Come on, little swallow. I'll take you. Let's meet later, Geralt. I've a little matter to resolve. I'll freshen up, then await you in the square in Gildorf. Right. Anything happened while we were away? Uh, pretty Polly came down with a fever, Matt Oyster caught a knife between the ribs, and they're late delivering the sodden triple meat. Dandelion. 
Lodge of sorceresses. Triss and Yen were supposed to gather the remnants. They're working on it. Triss is upstairs, waiting for you. Yennefer's gone to crippled Kate's. Yen? At that portside dive? Why? Didn't inform me. Imagine that. Ah, and that elf of yours moved into the ruby suite. Told me to tell you he's waiting, too. Gave him your best room? He didn't exactly ask. I prepared another room for him, but he blew past me and locked himself in the ruby. Hasn't peeked out since. Barely eats, drinks only water, and the only thing I've heard from him is, I wish to know when Windblade and Zeriel arrive. Thanks. Looks like I'll have my hands full. Got a minute? For you, my friend, always. Gotta tell me, how do you wind up owning this establishment? <laughs> You'll never believe this. I inherited it from none other than Alonzo Wiley, poor son senior himself. You're right, I don't believe it. Alonzo ruled the local underworld with an iron fist, but deep down, he was a romantic, pure as they come. This place is one of the reasons his son's not my biggest fan. See, Cyprian Jr., that is, wanted to make this a brothel, but the rosemary went to me, and I planned to turn it into the most elegant venue in town, a den of art and culture. How do you and Priscilla meet? Huh. It was at the court of Duke Hereward, the annual balladry contest. We faced off in the final. Who won? I don't remember. I bet. Probably lost and you don't want to admit it. Actually, she'd caught my eye, so I let her win. I was counting on getting a prize after the contest. And did you? <laughs> that, my friend, is not your concern. See you, Dandelion. Good one.